everyone and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're gonna go ahead and get started in setting up January so let's get started hi you guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome and I hope you decide to join our adventures by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and if you click on the bell notification button it will notify you the moment that I post a video up so as I mentioned on the intro I am going to set up the month of January for this new planner it's pretty much the same as in the past as I used other um, different variation, but the monthly kind of seems to be the same where you have the notes and your calendar. Now, the only huge difference in here is the fact that it is a little smaller. So with that being said, um, most of my stickers that I had purchased in the past don't typically fit on this particular planner to kind of make it my own. So I felt the need to invest on a small shop type of uh, um, stickers, which I'm not so much into it because of the price point in it. Um, when you purchase a Happy Planner sticker book, you get more for your buck in, a, in that sense of the word. But um, this year I'm going to be incorporating both a small shop and a regular shop that actually started as a small shop and it got really big, which is really awesome for them. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Happy Planners and I'm going to show you the stuff I'll be using for today. So one thing that I forgot to mention that when I purchased this planner is that I actually purchased this um, bookmarks. I love them. In all of my planners, even the ones that are not, uh, with the exception of the Happy Planner, um, this um, bookmarks, I love them because you can snap them in, remove them, and it's just easy to flip through the pages having them. So I decided to go with the Hello Kitty just because of the color remote um, toned down versus the colorful layers that I had purchased in the past. So you'll be use, seeing me use this one quite a bit um, throughout my planners um, setup. Now something that I'm going to be using new to this year is a shop called Planner Kate. I never ordered from them but I decided to do that this time because of the reasons explained earlier. So I decided to go with this kit. It's kit number 400 M2. It is specifically meant for the Erin Condren coil, um, which is awesome because of the size, like I mentioned. And then I also decided to go with this little sticker sheet with the holidays on them, simply because I learned my lesson that on previous um, planner, which it was the she's in her apron it didn't have any holidays and then I saw this I'm like this would be awesome and then I'm um, since I purchased this one right here I'm like this would be awesome because they'll stand out quite a bit and the size seems to fit pretty well with the mini um the size of this planner it's a lot smaller as I mentioned hence why I'll be using the happy planner collection sticker books that reference mini as much as I can otherwise I will have to adjust the size of the sticker. I'm also going to try to see if I can use these stickers right here in particular. Um, these two are considered mini. This is a Happy Planner the Disney collab. This is another Disney, it's more like springtime so I'm gonna see what I can use from this onto here and then this one for workout to see what I can use from this one into here. Obviously my scissors from the Erin Condren. I'll be using these washi tapes right here because they seem to be the closest to match the kit that I purchased. I'm gonna try to use tweezers just because this is a mini setup along with the small little dots. So I'm going to see if I can use this instead um, to be able to place the stickers down, the smaller stickers. And then I have these, um, they're not my liners, they're Erin Condren brand, they're highlighters. I know this one was drying out, so I'm going to see if I'm able to use this. So if you're new here, you will kind of will see that I will be um, setting up. I'll do a time lapse and then we can go ahead and go over it. So why don't we go ahead and get started.
right, you guys. So there you have it. That is the kit um, from that Planner Kate shop. And it looks really nice. I like the color. It has that lavender. And if one thing that I love is the fact that I can't see the color in the back. Like it's not that transparent. I don't know if because the purple and the dark um, ink of the actual sticker covers it and makes it a lot better. Um, maybe if it was like a white background, it might be translucent in some way, but I'm loving it. I, it gives it a whole new different outlook compared to what it was, which is like a blue tone of a monthly, um, monthly calendar. I did incorporate the happy planner. And by the way, this is from the mini collection. As you can tell, the mini barely fits in there without covering. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to have to get used to the size of the planner with my use like the plant the stickers that i used to in the past so anyhow um i used to i used the holiday stickers that i got separately i know there's a planner i forgot the day where they have this additional sticker here which is the national sticker day obviously it is fun a holiday i actually have i have no clue what day it falls in so that's one sticker that i need to still place on the january i did cover the notes area and just put a sticker from the back of the planner if you saw it came with the reminder tab so I put that on there the hardest part from using the kit is getting all the little dots <laughs> the dates on there um, it is good that I started using the tweezers that way I can go ahead and you can use whatever tweezers and just place them on there so I was able to use these to place it on each date. I think that was the hardest part. I still have these boxes. I will probably use them as soon as school resumes because school is out of session because we're on the winter break. But again, um, I will use it later. One piece of advice that I will recommend is for you to write whatever you're gonna write on here and then transfer it over to your planner because um, it's just easier than having to write, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like it's better to write it here and then transfer over here. And what you probably saw is how I had a difficulty time aligning the sticker um, on the header right here. And I was able to take it out and in. As long as you don't press it too hard on it, um, it will stick on really good. If not, it'll stick just enough for you to remove it. And that's something that on the previous planner that I used last month, I wasn't able to. It will just rip the whole page. I did have a little struggle on here, but that's okay. Um, it's doable. But yeah, that's one thing that I noticed. That I love how it sticks and you can kind of relocate it as long as you don't press down on it. And then you have the dashboard. I wish I had a January that was um, purple, dark color, but I couldn't. But this is the best that I can come up with. Again, I'm, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be using the dashboard as I usually do in the past. I just set it up just for fun, just to be able to use some of the stickers. And I might just write here like I usually do, which is like either big things that I would like to accomplish in the month of January. And on here, maybe some goals about working out. But yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to look like for the month of January. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it and would like to continue seeing more, please leave a thumbs up. You are welcome to leave a comment. Um, and again, I hope to see you back soon. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time you guys, bye.